Hello. I'm just out here, just tinkering. I've been working on patterns and was making a pattern for a faceplate for my lathe, because I need one. And ran in to grab my compass and somebody on the Discord server was asking about D-bit reamers, which seems to be a question that comes up quite often. I thought it was kind of common knowledge, but evidently it isn't. So, I, I'll i show you what I'm doing. I have a piece of 7 8 inch shaft that is, I'm going to turn into a D-bit reamer here, because i got to ream out some bronze bearings for the steam engine. So I figured I'd just record it and answer everybody's questions. I'll go in, use the angle grinder to cut the, or do a lot of the roughing out on it, and then we'll go in and to the angle grinder and finish it to the size. I like using the bench grinder because I can dish it like this and it, it has more of a cutting edge to it. You want to take and have it right on center height. So this is 7 eighths. I'm at right at exactly half of that. You want to take the edge here and do it just a little bit, you don't want to square, just a, a little bit of an angle. Because as it's going in, the work is going to be spinning and this is going to be your cutting edge. So you want this to be coming in contact first. The only thing left to do is add some relief into it and to stone it. You want to add a little bit of relief right at the bottom here. Man, is that hot. Just add a little groove right here for the chips because usually if you leave it like this it will work but it will want to bind up. But if you add a little bit of relief right here the chips won't catch in there and it won't bind up on you. You want the tool bit to be right exactly on center height if it's too, too low if it's below center height, it will cut a smaller hole and will actually bind up on you. If you, if it's above, it will actually cut an oversized hole just slightly and actually burnish it. So, you want to get it right on center. I'll take and put relief in real quick and. There. You can see just enough relief there. And it doesn't touch the tip, just a, like a sixteenth under that. And my battery's dying. I'll be back. Okay, 
here it is. You you can see just a tiny little segment of the cutting edge right there. I suppose. Yeah, it's not very much. But this is why it's called a D-bit reamer. If I have the right size or side. But they do come you can make them in any size you need. You can make them any shape you need. You can see this has relief here, just a same grind, everything. You just drill one size smaller or one drill bit size smaller and run this through with lots and lots of oil. It will ream itself out and smooth out the hole right there. You can see the cutting edge and the relief. You want to have just a bit of angle on the top because, yeah, I think I already explained that. And also a bit of angle going downwards so that this is the only thing touching or going into the work, the cutting edges. So everything has relief on it. Um, hopefully that answers all your questions for the D-bit reamers. Usually you can make them out of anything as long as it's harder than the material you're trying to go into. For one-off jobs, like if you're just trying to ream a hole that's in aluminum, mild steel will work fine. You just grind it up like that and it'll be good to go. This one was just made out of some stainless bar that I had lying around and this is a six millimeter rod that came out of a washing machine. I use it from time to time for patterns and whatever I need a small rod for. I needed this reamer here because 7 8 is the same exact size as the bearings on my steam engine so I'm going to try to get back to that soon. I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching. See ya. Also, a seg note, I finally found a use for footbreaker. I, I call a block of aluminum called footbreaker because I've tripped over the thing a few times and yeah, there's the chunk of aluminum. It is 9 inch diameter. Um, by four inches. So it is 6061 extruded and it's so big I can't even chuck it on my lathe to make the faceplate out of it. So yeah. But it works good as a stable base for pressing stuff down on. So Footbreaker has a new home.